Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your weather extreme video for Saturday, June the 2nd. Gosh, hard to believe we're in the hurricane season and all that. And summertime just around the corner. Before we get to uh, the current maps, I wanted to show the temperature trace at my house. I'm always amazed when uh, a shower or thunderstorm moves nearby and it affects the temperature. I only got a hundredth of an inch, but uh, you can see the shower is moving by there around 2 o'clock or between 2 and 3 o'clock dropping the temperature from uh, about uh, 88 or 89 down to uh, about 82. So a little refreshing, although the humidity was a little bit up. This morning, the satellite image shows that we do have some scattered clouds over the state, especially associated with those two bright spots that are showers that are occurring. On the surface map, we have a nice uh, uh, surface low over Kansas and uh, that uh, and that front will be moving off to the northeast and that front will be dragging through Alabama on Sunday bringing some drier air our way. The upper air uh, chart uh, shows a bit of a trough. Um, this is from last night actually so the trough is a little bit further to the southeast extending from western North Carolina down into south Alabama and that's along that trough is where we're seeing the showers this morning. Temperatures uh, in central Alabama generally in the lower 70s. A little bit cooler there in the northeast where I see Fort Payne is at 64. There's a look at the showers. We see the showers uh, over Georgia and uh, parts of southern Alabama, again, with that little bit of a trough. The watch warning map, uh, the orange areas you see are uh, high uh, heat uh, ind indices. There's a dense fog over the Memphis area, the gray. Flash flood watches over the mid-Atlantic states and high um, uh, wind advisories, the brown areas over the Dakotas. QPF-wise, it's going to be mostly scattered showers for the next two days. Over the next five days, the precip amounts will be a little bit higher in the south where they're going to see a little bit more uh, rain both today and uh, Sunday. All right, let's get to modeling. And there's 06C GFS model run. And there's uh, showers over the southern part of Alabama plus the uh, weather system off to our northwest. At the upper atmosphere, we see the nice trough over the Dakotas. And uh, kind of a little bit of a troughiness over the East Coast. That feature is going to be with us. SPC uh, is showing us a slight risk over um, primarily Missouri and Arkansas, and that's with that uh, strong uh, upper trough with a marginal risk along and ahead of that trough over uh, the trough axis over South Georgia and South Alabama. By Sunday, uh, the upper trough over the Dakotas has moved into the central uh, Great Lakes region. And that's dragging the front down into Alabama, as you can see it across the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys down into East Texas. And uh, just ahead of that front, they're expecting the possibility of uh, a, mar a marginal risk for uh, isolated storms, uh, damaging wind being the primary uh, threat there. By the time we reach Monday, the uh, trough is extending into the eastern Great Lakes. And uh, that drags the front all the way down into the Gulf and into North uh, Florida. And the nice part is looking at precipitable water. Look at those dry values, uh, those precipitable water values, less than about six tenths of an inch, that brown area over Alabama and Georgia. Boy, that's going to feel really nice. And by Tuesday morning with dew points in the 50s, we may have some of those cooler locations getting down into the 50s. And the good news is just a marginal risk over uh, parts of uh, western Oklahoma and western Texas, as well as parts of Montana. Tuesday, uh, we see the uh, relative troughiness over the eastern part of the United States, and that's good because that's going to stay with us. And that keeps us uh, both dry and it keeps us from any excessive heat. The upper air chart on Wednesday shows that troughiness, uh, and uh, one of the things we have to watch out with this northwesterly flow, and you can see that northwesterly flow extends into Thursday, one of the things we have to watch out for are these MCSs, or mesoscale convective systems, that develop well to our northwest and move down that uh, northwesterly flow pattern, 
and uh, can reach you know long distances, uh, starting out over northern Missouri, but reaching all the way down into Alabama and Georgia. As a matter of fact, on Friday, we do note that uh, there's a strong trough moving through that northwesterly flow, and that could be associated with a mesoscale convective system. You can see over the Mid-South area, just north of Memphis. We uh, see that uh, little uh, short wave develop down into Alabama, and that should keep us uh, somewhat wet for uh, Friday and Saturday uh, with a little better chances for showers. Probably very little chance uh, Monday through Thursday, so Friday we see our first chance of showers. The uh, GFS is suggesting that uh, we're going to establish out into voodoo country the uh, a bit of a troughiness over the southeastern United States, and that's good. It stays with us there. That's the 11th of June. We see it again on the 13th of uh, June. Uh, and uh, that's good because that means no excessive heat. We're showing uh, a little bit of that on the 16th of uh, June as we get out towards the end of the voodoo country. Uh, but uh, we're also showing uh, the ridging increasing, and that means more warmth. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I'll have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning around 7 a.m. or so. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great day and Godspeed. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.